In 2016, the former first lady of America, uh, Melania Trump, plagiarized the speech that was done almost eight years earlier I mean, by the former first lady of the United States of America, uh, Michelle Obama. And this was a speech that she did, and it took diligent journalism to be able to pick word for word and put them in collage and looked at the speech that uh, Melania Trump did and the speech that uh, Michelle Obama did and they found out that she was caught lying and she then apologized and said that it was the person who was doing a speech typing who made an oversight however it was big news in spite of the fact that Donald Trump uh, ended up becoming the president of America and she also became the first lady of the nation. Hello and welcome to JCTV Zimbabwe. We're going to look at this plagiarism that is happening to the man Emmanuel Makandiwa. I don't want to take much credit. I'm not the one who discovered this. It took diligence of Apostle Chuenga to find out that this is copy and paste that was done by Imano Makandio. Anyway, the whole video is actually there on Jesus Revelation Ministry YouTube channel. You go check it out and you can see the comparison that is being made. But what are the effects of plagiarism? Plagiarism uh, has costed a lot of people, especially if you are a person who, I mean, at university level, plagiarism is considered this. Plagiarism is one of the most serious offenses, not only in the courses you take at virtual high school, but also at every level in educational and non-educational settings. And the consequences of committing plagiarism can have serious effects on those who make this error. Consider the example of a German politician who had his PhD stripped because he did not properly acknowledge his sources. This was also the case with the German defense minister and another parliamentarian, all of whom were discredited in the public press. Such instances have happened all too often in North America as well, in the cases of writers, entertainers, and thinkers as diverse as Stephen Ambrose, a respected historian, Michael Bolton, in a song dating from 1990, New York Times columnist Maureen Dowd, and others too numerous to mention. This might actually happen to you if you are caught plagiarizing or even in journalism if you are caught doing plagiarism you do not put your own input you are i mean it discredits you so this is what has been happening to the man Imano makandiwa he was caught plagiarizing the sermon and the presentation that was done by this guy in america and it's the same thing that has been happening people and, you know, he was also caught saying there is a feast of atonement. A feast of atonement. <laughs> this is very funny. I mean, uh, as much as, as you, you, we do not know everything. We, that's why we read books. That's why we, we, we watch TV. That's why we watch documentaries. We want to know. We always learn from each other. And then we put our input and then when you learn from someone it allows you to even learn to, to to think for yourself as well but there is nothing wrong to say uh according to so and so i remember my teacher uh, growing up he used to say according to vidala de branche according to to von Tunen, when he was quoting all these these uh, philosophers when he was teaching us geography so it was he was not trying to make himself better or to try to make himself someone who knows better, but he would always refer to say according to so-and-so, according to so-and-so. That's what I always do here, that it's not that I'm very, very intelligent in doing apologetics. I also learn from Apostle Shwenga, and I'm very, very frank about it. And what I learned from him is what I present to you that, guys, this is what it is. And you judge for yourself what is right and what is wrong. And the good thing about it is that the Bible is there also to guide you. And the man pulls out the scriptures 
and he's not shy away from getting to the scripture and showing you what is wrong and what is right. There is nothing wrong in doing that, in doing commentary about something else and say, according to so-and-so, and you give it to your congregation. There is no problem. But for you to copy and then copy wrongly and end up making a new sense of yourself and actually saying things that you're not supposed to say, it's fair is the highest level of incompetence. And, you know, I, I don't know how, how can I put it, but for me, it is um, shameful. But anyway, go and watch out that video. I put the link in the description below so that you guys can check it out. But tell me what you think about this whole conversation that Apostle Chuenga was doing in the moment of laughter. Um, 3A. I think it's going to be in, it's, it's interesting. You should check it out. It has got some things that are really interesting and um, you will learn a lot of things. But thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, follow me, tell me what you think in the comment section. I'll see you again on the next episode. It's your boy once again reminding that Rise Up Africa, the world is waiting for you.